Good morning, St. Francis in the Fields Episcopal Church. My name is Raleigh Langley, and it's so good to be with you this morning. We are in Advent season. We've just celebrated the second week of Advent, and what a beautiful season it is. In fact, it is one of my favorite seasons as we prepare for Christmas, as we prepare for the Christ child to come into this world, to enter into our lives. And we've already started here at the Langley household. We have a Christmas tree up. We have the crash be, um, beside me. We have Christmas stockings and a, and a fire um, beside me. And I'm telling you, we love Advent around, around the Langley household. In fact, around the Langley household, one thing we've done for years, I mean, absolutely a long time, is that we have, um, with Emma, we started when she was a child. It's called the Light in the Lantern. I don't know if you have if you have stories that you've done with your children as they've grown up, but this is a beautiful book that talks about Mary and Joseph's journey to Bethlehem. And each night, it gives a different perspective of what that journey might have been like. It's some of the difficulties, but also the miracles that came from that. And so we enjoyed this um, with Emma. And Kristen would read the story, and I would hold the lantern up, as we're reading the story, so Chris, Kristen could see it was dark in here. And at the end of the story, in this den, I would get down on my knees, give Kristen the lantern, and we would start taking the journey. I was the donkey, believe it or not. And Emma would get on my back, and Kristen would lead us all around through the house till we made it to a table that had just enough stars for every day of Advent to make it to the stable. And it's one of my favorite stories. And stories are important around this time of year. I know that you have a lot of stories as well of how you prepare for Christmas, how you enjoy this Advent season. During this Advent season, I don't know if you know this, but St. Francis, we have two books, um, devotional books that we have. One is for our youth, and it's called God With Us. And it's a fantastic youth devotional. We still have a few left. So if there's a family that would like to do this devotional, we would love you to, to come by the church and grab one. And then we have one called Advent and, and Christmas Tide. And this is another beautiful devotion put out by the Neshota House. And so we have plenty of these at the church for you and your family. And I don't know how you prepare. Maybe it's um, by going to, to worship. Maybe it's meditation or reflection. But we would love for you also to think about um, doing a devotional with your family as well. But stories are important. I mean, we hear an incredible story as Mark, this past Sunday, we were thrust into the middle of this Christmas time. As Mark says, prepare the way. You know, he was proclaiming the story that he had heard about John the baptizer, John the Baptist. He says, in the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before you, before your face, who will prepare your way. The voice of the one crying out the wilderness, Make ready the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And all the country of Judea was going out after him, and all the people of Jerusalem and they were about being baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. And John was clothed in crazy camel's hair. And then he was said, you know, I baptize you with water, but there's one coming after me that will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. What we hear from John is a beautiful story of, of, of Mark is a beautiful story of John preparing the way for Jesus Christ during this season of Advent. Let's take some time with our families and our friends to prepare the way, to quiet our souls for what God has for us in the breaking of the dawn, in the coming of Jesus. And so as we, as we prepare the way this day, I'd like to offer you a prayer. Let us pray. God, our Father, you promised the prophets of old that you would send a Savior who would bring peace you help them to spread the message of his coming kingdom. As we prepare to celebrate his birth, help us to share the good news of your power and love with those around us. 
We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who is coming into the world. Amen. Amen. And I hope today, as you prepare the way, that you share this good news with those, your friends, your family, and those around you. Have a wonderful day.